Hi guys, my name is Rachel and today I have learned something. Or oh, yesterday even. Welcome to a not so rentable vlog. Today I have learned about tear boos. Tear boos. Huh <laughs> I found a post on Facebook which is a post on Tumblr. It says people who think Britain is a is paradise and won't shut up about the BBC and T say stuff like if I had a British accent I'd never stop talking. You are weeaboos. Different location, same annoying concept. Teaboos. Teaboos. And I saw this some song uh, from Colin, S Colin Surname. It's called Anglophiles. <laughs> and then another word. Britaholics. Okay. <laughs> I am confused. <laughs> yeah. I mean, where do they get their information of Britain from? So it's. N yeah. It's. <laughs> To get the information from the BBC and all the British programs. That is not Britain. That is not Britain at all. No. I'm sorry to burst your bubble, but it's nowhere near. Of course, with the crooked teeth, of course. Yeah. That's correct. Um. <laughs> there are those strange accents. Um. That Southern Queen's English, and um, that Cockney rhyming flowing slang, and some other accents that drive me crackers. Some people find them really attractive. I'm like, ah! it needs to really weird in a sense. I mean, Britain is Wales and England and Scotland and. Um, no, yeah, the United Kingdom would be Ireland as well, wouldn't it? Yeah. <laughs> so Britain, Britain, England, Scotland, and Wales. But Tiaboos always see it as the southern part of England. That's the southern part. There's a whole country and another two that's part of Britain. The Scottish, trust me, do not sound like the South. Nor do the Welsh. I mean, heck, the rest of England do not sound like the South. I mean, of course, I may do in places I have no idea. People, every time I talk to different people, they ask me, oh, where are you from? It sounds like, it sounds like you're, um, you travel places. And, and then, I say no, the only farthest travel place I've ever been was Scotland. And nowhere, shape or form, do I have a Scottish twingle in there. I mean, they don't explain <laughs> what my accent sounds like. I know um, when my brother sometimes hears me doing a vlog, he says, Oh, you sound very business at one point. Then one point you sound local and then the next point you sound complete scum <laughs> like okay <laughs> I mean I don't know if it's um random words that pop out I can't really tell I totally sound completely the same as I carry on to talk uh, I can't believe it. I don't. I don't know if he says complete scum or muck. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I think he's probably referring to, um, you know, hip, whatever. Um, strong. I don't know. I don't know. But I know I do have a strong business accent when I talk to um. Uh, other businesses and uh, other professionals because I feel that if I spoke like that I would get further quicker and get what I want from them. So 
also I twist and turn other words so like if I was to talk about my dad I would say uh, in general I'd say uh, my dad told me about what offers you have and I thought well what can you offer me now, I wouldn't say it like that what I would say is Hello and good evening. Um, my father explained to me that you have some office for me to um, inquire about. You know, like that. <laughs> Just a bit more clean cut and... Oh. But going back onto the subject of taboos, Bredaleks and Anglophiles. I mean, of course it's good to have an obsession over a culture. But you got to do it in the right way. It's kind of... <laughs> the what the ones that's been explained here is that it's it's more of a fantasy. Um, in the concept of weeaboos, uh, people who like Japanese culture, do you always um, assume it's all you no know, magical ice cream and uh, konnichiwa and anime stuff? No, it's like any ordinary ordinary country, but we're Japanese people. Like Britain is like any ordinary country with its problems, and problems and problems. <laughs> it's just an ordinary country, like you know, like America is, or what France is, or what Sweden is, or what Israel is, or you know stuff like that. It's got its own problems. It's got its people problems, it's governmental problems, finance problems, you know, it's not that special to anywhere else. So, it's not a rad video, it's just me being curious about the whole Tiaboo, Britaholic and Anglophiles. So, if you're going to be obsessed over a culture, you got to do it right. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just saying, I'm just saying. I mean, if you learn the true culture of Britain, or the United Kingdom of England, Ireland, Scotland, Wales, and Northern Ireland, then I feel that your love will kind of drain out because then it'll be no longer fantasy. It'll be no longer fantasy. Of course, there is quite a huge lump of culture here, such as your castles, your middle aged stuff. Your Tudor-esque things. Oh, I'm doing my things fingers here. Uh, the Stonehenge uh, cathedrals, Lincoln Cathedral. I swear to God, I want to go back there again. But I'm not going up steep hill. That is like hill of death. <laughs> um, but you can uh, search it on my channel right here. And my graduation. It's been a year almost, pretty. Ah, <laughs> uh, but of course. Tiabu see the fake culture that we have, but there is so much more historical culture that we have currently, of course, with the castles and such stuff like that. Um, Lincoln right now has the, um, oh, I think I posted it on my Twitter a while ago, uh, the Barons, the Barons. If I remember, I'll post it in the video. If not, then remind me and I'll post it on Facebook in the album and I'll put the link below. Um, yeah, that's Lincoln's culture. Uh, as for Newark, it's um, oh, where is it? we have a we have a trail going on. We have a trail. Um, oh, what's his name? What's his name? Um, Alexander the Great, I think. Cromwell. I can't remember from the top of my head though. We have like museums dedicated to it. Uh, the story of Robin Hood. Got all that. Yeah. I'm done with the wee boo, tea boo, Britaholic stuff. <laughs> Just wanna <laughs> explain that out there. Yeah. <laughs> uh. <clears throat> anyway. I'm getting hiccups again now. I've been talking so much. Thank you so much for watching for today's vlog. Hope to see you in my very next one.
Leave it a like, favorite, and subscribe below. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.